to clarify also um, on our previous video on uh, civilly, civilly dead, uh, you're dead to the world because you'll be resting in peace, RIP, as a Christian. You will have abandoned uh, any and all rights uh, to secular property, any interest uh, in the idea of having a right to participate in common uh, with the aggregate of society. Uh, so therefore, you would not be part of the pool. You would be separate. Um, under that exemption, consider it uh, that those that, uh, that concern themselves to participate and want to go against, say, uh, what they would call, I've just said as a theory uh, from Scripture, uh, what they're really uh, what they're really doing is not realizing that once they step into the insurance, which is not assurance pool of the social insurance or the social security program, what they've walked into is that the insurer is in charge, and therefore they make the decisions because they've taken over the risk of the property, and the only property that Caesar has that's in risk for you using is things to do with money or what is an artifice of man has nothing to do with spirituality and therefore do not confuse the two. So Caesar has an insurer for the surname, the title uh, that you use in society for the purpose of money, which would relate to uh, almost like a rebirthing under your social uh, insurance or social security registration number, which is separate from the birth certificate. The birth certificate only works for exemption. It is filed through to zero out accounts. It has no cash value. It has nothing to do with it. It is valuable, but only valuable for discharging, not valuable for accumulating wealth. Uh, everything that would be used for the purpose of that instrument is strictly, in my view, uh, as being used for the, uh, uh, for the betterment of mankind, to do charity, to do good. Um, and therefore, it would, uh, it would leave you with nothing upon death. Uh, you would almost, in a sense, die uh, intestate. And when Christ died, he did not die with a man-made will. He died under God's will. He didn't come to do his own will. He came to do the will of his Father, and that was spiritual. So therefore, uh, those that are Christians following the same pattern would die without a will in man's world, and therefore everything would basically go to the public. And therefore, your whole existence was for public good with no private interest or claim to it. So therefore, uh, the, uh, the birthright, to my belief, the exemption or the birth certificate was actually sold um, to an extent the minute that you entered into voluntarily into the social insurance program because you negated the exemption the minute that you stepped into that. And so the world reads you as a participant at that point who has taken on third-party liability as a tortfeasor uh, to actually protest your exemption. Therefore, you've actually said, I am liable and I will take on all duty, debt, and responsibility for whatever value of what I use in society uh, for my own private gain and to pass on to others through my own will, which has nothing to do with God's will. Uh, so clarifying again, be concerned about what you actually understand certain terms to be because you need to do more research and the research that you will find from scripture will give you all the examples of those early Christians who didn't give a tithing but forsook all took what they had, gave it to the apostles even at that time to be dispersed uh, for doing God's will. Some of them didn't even believe they knew how to disperse what they had left. So therefore they felt it better to put it in the hands of the apostles at that time to help the needy and the sick but, uh, and the poor and those that were in need of, a, of the message that was going to be the, uh, not only the, uh, the pardon from the, uh, from the sin and the penalty of death that was, uh, that was due to all mankind who would die like a beast uh, for not accepting Christ, um, and also the fact of the remedy coming of God's kingdom, where, where his son, Christ Jesus, was going to reign for a thousand years to show man good government, which is soon to, upon us. Um, so therefore, we hope that this part of this video has clarified uh, the spiritual aspect of, of these points and uh, removed us from unclarity regarding uh, secular and, and title and uh, the idea of what exemption is.